Yesterday I made a video about a Sun newspaper report, which was then copied in various other places, including the Metro and Glamour magazine of all places, claiming that Netflix and possibly the BBC were going to ban corsets because of the harm they caused to actresses. And since various of those other papers had reached out to Netflix or the BBC for comment, and they hadn't. And it had been two days, I was like, how long does it take to say, no, that's silly, if you have a whole PR team? Apparently just a little bit longer. So some hours after my video went up, Jezebel reported that the BBC and Netflix both flatly denied that this was ever going to be a thing. Of course they're not going to ban corsets. Of course it not. So I thought I'd update you, and not just because it gives me the chance to use this hilariously punny title that was suggested in my comment section yesterday, but admittedly a, a little bit because of that. But also in an attempt to be constructive, having inadvertently contributed to the manufactured outrage of the clickbait machine. So Netflix, if you're watching, you're not, but if you were, can I take this opportunity to suggest, once again, close that fit. And maybe just a smidge more in the way of historical accuracy, and a smidge less in the way of obsessively trying to make your female characters look thinner. Because while the banning of corsets part might have been bobbins, the actual quote by The Sun contains some things which may well be true for Netflix even if not true in history. The original quote started with, the corset is famously restrictive, which is not necessarily true in history unless you're in a very specific time period and you're a very specific social class, but I can't say that it's necessarily inaccurate for movie costuming, given various reports by various actresses. It's true that days on set are often 12, 14 hours long. If you're an actor, you're gonna spend a large portion of this just kind of sitting around not doing much and waiting to be called, but you are still going to have to wear those clothes for basically all of that time. Here's the part of the quote I really want to talk about though. It's not being great optics to be encouraging women to have thinner waists. And yesterday I said, that is not what the vast, vast majority of corsets through history were for. You're in the Jeffing Regency period. You couldn't tight lace stay. That's not, that's not even a thing! You did have stays that could go down to your waist, but if you tried to over-tighten them, you'd probably just rip them. And it was really not uncommon in the Regency period just to wear short stays, which don't even come down to your waist. You can't possibly reduce the size of your waist with short stays. They, they don't go down that low. So this quote sounds like it comes from someone who doesn't know anything about corsetry. But allow me to share with you this comment that I got on my video yesterday, which may change our perspective a little bit. I built the corsets for big streaming service period drama, and I can tell you exactly what the problem is. They want to make the actresses look as thin as possible. We had drawstrings in the petticoats to tighten them around their knees. I had to finish the top and bottom edges of the corsets with a single layer of mesh instead of bias tape. If you are using corsets to try and make people look as small as possible, you are absolutely going to hurt them. It's not about having to use clothes that are too small, we build those clothes to the actor. It's about TV and thinness and beauty standards. Now obviously, my sources are exactly as verifiable as the sun's, which is to say, not at all, but you can at least go to my YouTube video and read the comment that is underneath it. So I suppose you know that I, at least, did not make it up. But this comment got to me, man. Because when I read the original quote, I thought it sounded like absolute bobbins. But according to this commenter, Netflix really do think that corsets should be used to make all of their actresses look as tiny as possible. And of course the second thing implied by this YouTube comment is that Netflix do use people who know how to make corsets to make their corsets. They just then make those people do bad work in order to accommodate Netflix's expectations? I... If that is true, you will join me, I suspect, in being vastly unsurprised. Which is why I think it would be good to have a conversation about this topic more generally. Because it's not just actresses and period dramas, though the problems they have with their costumes are all well documented. Even if some of them may be exaggerated for puff piece effect. Because it's a very common topic when stars go on the interview circuit to promote their latest period piece or MCU movie, for them to talk about how uncomfortable the costumes are, or how they couldn't do the character's signature move while wearing the costume. And beyond the costumes, you've also got the things like, I dehydrated myself for several days to look as good as possible in my shirtless scene. Here's my question, are modern audiences so obsessed with their superheroes looking absolutely unrealistically good, that allowing your actors to wear clothes that fit, or allowing them to drink water on days that they have shirtless scenes, is going to significantly impact the popularity of your movie or TV show? I know it's important to give audiences what they want, and I know that that means that in superhero movies maybe everyone looks a little unrealistically good, and in period dramas everyone's got to look gorgeous, but is it not possible to have those things without actively hurting the people doing it? Lots of jobs are more dangerous and difficult and physically grueling than wearing a difficult costume while acting. I completely understand this. But why are we making the job of convincingly portraying a character on screen more difficult for the sake of 
what is probably a very minor improvement in how good they look. A marginal increase in perceived muscle tone, a marginal decrease in perceived waist size. Could we just not do that? And if we didn't, how much of a difference would it actually make? I'm curious to know your thoughts. Although I did just have a thought about the original article and the original source. Maybe, and hear me out, maybe it's not just the Sun newspaper making up nonsense, though obviously that would be standard. And maybe it's not just Netflix sewing fake outrage bait to cover up the fact that no one likes their service and people are leaving in droves. Maybe, and I don't think this is true but I would love it if it was, maybe this is actually the Machiavellian plan of a costumer or actress who is just completely fed up. An article says, Netflix are going to ban corsets because they hurt actresses. Everyone responds, that's really stupid, why would you ban corsets? Wait, why are they hurting the actresses? Why can't you get them corsets that don't hurt them? And then the masterminds behind this are like, ah, all according to plan. It's probably not actually that, but I live and hope. That's all for today, and don't worry, we're not actually turning into a breaking costuming news channel or a corset channel, but I wanted to keep you up to date, so here we are. See you next week.